Ricky. Oh, that was... Trying to get you in here, but you're... Yeah, me and Brookie, man, I'm hiding the camera with that hand. All right, me and Brookie out trying to find some sheds today. and We're, uh, Rio, no. We're putting in, uh, just a unique. No, no, leave the rock alone, no. Find a shed, Rio, shed. Trying a unique, um, hillside today, and, uh, we're just split up, cutting across here, and, nope. Nope. No, sir. Rio's trying to kill a rock. Sometimes he gets bored and he starts rock hunting. He doesn't realize that he's standing eight feet from a elk shed right now. It's just a, it's just a hard white uh, spike. I think I'm getting him in there. So we'll ease down here so maybe Rio can find it also. We did find a, a broken brow tine a while ago. Shed, Rio. Find a shed. Find a shed. Good boy. Get the shed, Rio. Get the shed. Get it. Get the shed. Yeah, good boy. Bring it here. Yeah, bring it here. Oh, good boy. Bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> he wants to do that. Either. Yeah. Okay, grab, grab him a treat in my pack. So, that's kind of number two on the day. Good boy, Rio. Good boy. Good boy. We're giving him some little treats whenever he finds gets on a shed. He actually found a shed yesterday and uh, legitimately found it. So he's starting to become a shed dog. It's interesting how some of them, like even some of the hard whites, he's really interested in. Some of the chalk he's interested in. Some of the brown he's interested in. This is an old hard white, but just didn't show much interest in this one. So anyway, yep, we got spike on the day so we've got a spike and a broken brow tine so we're not skunked and it's encouraging to at least find an antler on this hillside so we'll uh we'll keep scouring and see what we can come up with all right me and brookie have come what 50 yards since we found that little yeah, not very far. chalky spike and then we kind of started coming into a little bit of a bone yard here you see that spine and i just happened to look down through the trees down here let me turn the can zoom you in Look down through the trees there and you'll see the beautiful, saddening sight of a deadhead. Got both horns on still, so it looks like a pretty decent bull. So we'll just hike on down and let y'all see it as we approach it. Get to strap the weight of a deadhead on the back. Let me zoom the camera back out. Watch out, Ricky. Ricky, huh? you're getting in front of the camera and I can't see the bull. <clears throat> looks like he's been there for a long time, though. Looks like he's chalking out unfortunately but uh still a pretty sight find the sheds rio get him boy yeah he's been there for a minute looks like his bugle his ivories are gone he has a one two three four five six six by six barely one two three four five six by six yeah barely a six by six i'll get brookie to I'll just get Brookie to pick him up. I'll back up here a little bit. Get her to pick him up. Get some reference on him. Just barely split by, out there on the ends to make that 6x6 six six out of him. But we've been talking about. Never have found a deadhead. And yeah, we thought, it'd, thought it'd be cool to have have one to put up at the house somewhere. So what do you think, Brookie? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's our first elk deadhead that we found that actually has all its horns and stuff still left. We found a, a muley yesterday that was had great mass, but his horns had already deteriorated off. So he had been there for a bunch of years. This one's been around for a long time, but not long enough that we're not going to strap him to the pack and take him with us because we're, uh, yeah, pretty pleased with with our little deadhead. So, man, it's... We're working hard. It's it's always hard. It's it's just hard to do this stuff. We're side hilling today. This is a decent hike. As you can see, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. It's warm today. It's been really cold here in Montana. Been getting a lot of snow and all that is obviously gone. It left last week and the temperatures have come up. So we're working a weird side of the mountain that we really didn't expect a whole lot on. And uh, it's been it's been pretty desolate to be honest. And uh, I did kind of think to myself that we might be more inclined to find deadheads here than we would to find sheds, simply because it's not a great face. It's not facing a great direction. It's more west um, than it is south. 
and this country can be pretty nasty in the winter time. Um, anyway, we did find a shed, we did find a deadhead, so we'll uh, shut the camera off and uh, continue on our way and see what else we can find. Blessings. All right, me and Brooke were just stopped. We thought we could hear a baby, el a young elk, not a baby elk, but a young elk learning to bugle. And Brooke's walking down the hill there, and of course, you can see right there in front of her, she just found a really nice looking muley. It's her first antler she's found since she's been up here. She's been working her tail off. And yeah, that looks like a dandy. Hopefully we can spend a little time here in the area and match it up. And uh, been chewed on a little bit. Get that horn, get that shed. Yeah. He's got really good tine length. Doesn't have much mass, but still yet. Brookie on the board. Let me get, hold on, back around. Brookie on the board. That's her second muley shed to ever find. And that's her first shed on this trip. And we are, we've been grinding. We have been grinding. I've got a dead head on my back right now. I'm trying to see if you can see. Yeah, I got a dead head on the back. I've got a spike in the pack and a busted brow tine that we found a bit ago. And uh, it's funny because I've really been not enjoying finding sheds because I've wanted her to find a shed so bad. And she's been working hard and it just, just she just hadn't been on the right line. It's like we've, She just hadn't been on the right line. If you cup your ear and listen to that, it's really loud. Really? But anyway, she was on the right line for that one. She found a muley shed, so I'll get that strapped on her pack. We'll probably scour this little area here a little bit, looking for the match, and uh, see what we can come up with. We'll show you what we find. Okay, Brooke has walked 11 yards, I'm saying, from, from her... Oh my goodness, it is. 11 yards from the muley horn that she found. And she walks up on an old moose, moose paddle. Oh, How crazy. So yeah, Brooke just found her first moose. She found her second muley. And for us, you know, moose is quite a treat for us to find. We don't find moose. No, you just don't find moose very often. So we've been really wanting her to find an elk shed, but tough to beat <laughs> tough to beat finding a moose paddle and it's been around for a minute but uh Even though it's sitting over there, you yeah. need to get some atls i kept looking over here i was like because i could see the white yeah yeah i was like what in the world is that so then when we that's why i came over here and i said there's no way that's okay so now we legitimately got to move around this area a bit because she found let's see here that's the moose she found the mule deer Right there next to that stump, right beside that tree, the stump just to the right, the mule deer horn was laying there. That's about 25 yards here to the moose paddle. So we've got a couple of horns here that we'd likely be able to match up if we spend okay. spend a little time trying to get it done. But I was like, there's no, I didn't think it was a shed until I seen the, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Just just found a moose. That's that's our second moose ever that we've found. We found one a couple years ago, 2019, and we've affectionately dubbed uh, named it Hallelujah. And uh, again, this thing's been here for a long time, but it doesn't matter when you're shed hunting. For me, a shed is a shed. I found a spike bull uh, elk a while ago, and I'm as giddy about that as as as, as I am the other stuff that I'm finding because you work so hard to find these things. So. She got some ATL, so I'm gonna turn the camera around once again. Pick up. Okay. Yep. Picking up a moose shed. Right on, right on. Look at that. You know, it's it's. I thought it was chewed up, and it's not really that chewed up. It's chewed up a little bit, but that some of the little points are chewed off. But really, it's just. That's just, a pretty nice length. It really is. That eye guard's nice. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, I think we need to spend a little time here in this area. Probably drop our packs and just... That's the last thing I expected to find over here. Yeah. I'm with you. I, 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 I've, I've, I've got, I was going to ask them if they've had many moose sightings, but I haven't seen any moose sign. I haven't seen any moose poo. haven't seen any moose tracks. So I just I didn't, didn't even think of worrying myself with it. But I think we're going to drop the packs and do a little circulating here and see if we can load the packs up with some horns.
Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Hey guys, out here at Bummer MX in Helena, Montana this weekend. Just finished up a motocross camp with my good friend, Thomas Richards. I've affectionately dubbed him the role model. And uh, it's, it's a title that he has earned because he is truly a role model on and off the racetrack. And just real blessed and privileged to get to have come out here and uh, done this camp with him. And one of the things that I really like to push at motocross camps is that what you're being taught you have to apply not just when you're here being critiqued and, and when the eyeballs are on you but when you go train by yourself you have to continue to apply these things to develop them as habit and that's what I want to challenge you with today those things that you know are good and, and, and righteous and things out of the Word of God that God has, has taught you throughout your life or the preacher has taught you at the church house easy to do when you're sitting in front of the preacher but when you go off and you're by yourself or around peers that don't necessarily apply those things to your life it gets easy to kind of alienate those ideas and those thoughts and those teachings and that's what I like to challenge you with today man it's just this is just a video of me and Brookie out doing what we love to do and uh, I don't know this doesn't necessarily fit in there per se but the reality is is this is what's on my heart right now as we put this video together of some footage from a month and a half ago so Man, be encouraged, but at the same time, be challenged to understand that God has given you some tools to put in your arsenal that you can carry out in your day-to-day -day and be a better version of what he's called you to be, to be a reflection of him. I look over here behind me, and right up in here, you can see this lake back here behind me, and as the sun shines down on the ripples over there, it's just beautiful. When the sun shines down on you and reflects off, it's beautiful to people. So, man, be encouraged today, but again, be challenged to dig down in your toolbox, find those tools that God has put in your life for you to be better, to do what you've been called to do. Man, I love you guys, and I really do appreciate all, I think I've got 13 whole subscribers now. Well, Jesus did it, what he did with himself in 12, so I'm already ahead of what he had. Heck, he only had 13 or 12 followers, so... That sounds corny, and I probably shouldn't say that, but that's how I feel. I mean, I feel like this is a tool that we can use if we can grow this thing. But right now, I know that there's probably going to be 13 people watch this. And so you 13, I hope that it challenges you to dig into your toolbox, into your arsenal, and apply those things that you've learned throughout life that God has put in there for you to use those things to be a better reflection of Him. Again, love you guys. Thank you for checking this video out. You know, if it's real, you got to like and subscribe, share, get this thing in front of some of your friends. And, uh, man, glory to God. Talk to you all next time. Blessings.